Warring Alone. Coming through incest as a child, I fought alone. No one was beside me. Isn't that the way it is for those of us that lived through these tragedies? Who stood beside us? No one. Who protected us? No one. Did we learn the value of trust in our homes? I read this morning 1 Corinthians 13, and I read it like Paul wrote the words for me. It reads, verse 4, Love is very patient and kind, never jealous or envious, never boastful or proud, never haughty or selfish or rude. Love does not demand its own way. It is not irritable or touchy. It does not hold grudges and will hardly ever even notice when others do it wrong. It is never glad about injustice, but rejoices whenever truth wins out. If you love someone, you will be loyal to him no matter what the cost. You will always believe in him, always expect the best for him, and always stand your ground in defending him. Dissecting these verses, I could easily see how my childhood not only did not represent this, but was opposed to the very essence of love. Let's read chapter 4. Sorry about that. Let's read verse 4. Love is very patient and kind, never jealous or envious, never boastful or proud. My father and mother had no patience. They were cruel, not kind. Jealousy flared for each other and ensnared their relationships with us children. Pride was the only thing they had to hide behind. Looking at verse 5, it says that love is never haughty or selfish or rude. That love does not demand its own way. It is not irritable or touchy. It does not hold grudges and will hardly even notice when others do it wrong. The very nature of abuse is selfish, demanding in its own way. Selfishness creates irritability. Grudges? Grudges are an evil person's strength and actually their dignity. How dare you treat me this way? I heard my father say many times. Verse 6. It is never glad about injustice, but rejoices whenever truth wins out. Okay, enough said there. Let's look at verse 7. If you love someone, you will be loyal to him no matter what the cost. You will always believe in him, always expect, expect the best of him, and always stand your ground in defending him. These words are polar opposites of what my parents gave me. They fought justice, stood opposed to me, never believed in me, and did their very best to discredit me. Now, how am I to believe in love? I know the battle it takes to trust God, to believe in his love, to see him defending me. I don't war alone these days. And my heart is softened when I hear God tell me in the night hours, Jody, find your worth in my kingdom. In his kingdom, this is where love sits.